everybody, welcome back to Rise and Yoga Online. Um, today we're going to do a full relaxation yoga practice, um, giving you a chance to connect with your breath and your body, to fully relax your body and your mind, and give yourself a chance to just chill out. So, um, making sure that you have some space, some comfy clothes, and some water in case you need that. And feel free to put on some nice relaxing music if that helps you to chill out. Um, if you're not sure what music, I have lots of playlists on my Spotify, so check out the link below and um, you can put one of those on if you like. Okay, to start off with, coming to a comfortable seated position. If you can, sitting on your heels. If not, just come to any other position that feels right for you. We're going to bring hands to the tops of the knees, palms facing up, and we're closing hands into fists. From here, sitting up nice and tall, and we'll close down your eyes. Taking a moment to settle in. Let go of your day so far. Letting go of any plans for after the class. And acknowledging that this is the time that you've set for yourself to relax. Anything that is stopping you from being able to relax in this time can simply be put aside until the end. And know that we will give it the time it deserves. But right now, we're taking this time for yourself. So start to breathe a little deeper, breathing in through the nose, down into your tummy. And then breathing out, completely emptying your lungs. Deep inhales and long exhales. With each exhale, feeling the day start to melt away. Feeling your body, your face start to relax. start to connect your breath with your body now through a type of pranayama called hand flower breathing. So we're going to imagine that our hands are beautiful lotus flowers curled up ready to bloom. In your next inhale, start to breathe all the way in. We start to open our lotus flowers up. Expanding, send them out wide. And as you breathe out, they start to slowly, gently close again. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, close. Breathing in and breathing out. So you never quite stop breathing or moving here. It's a slow, consistent movement and breath. As you do this movement with your hands, I want you to imagine a lotus flower sitting right in the center of your chest, mimicking this movement. With each inhale, it opens and expands. With each exhale, it gracefully closes.
take one more breath like this. And then on your next inhale, you start to gently flutter the eyes open, relax the hands. Hello. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start by coming to a kneeling sun salutation, sometimes called a moon salutation. Um, it's just a little more gentle than our normal salutations to start to warm up your body and get ready for the rest of our practice. So, sitting, sitting on your heels if you can. Otherwise, you can come to kneeling, whichever one works best for you. Then take a big breath in, arms come up above your head. As you breathe out, we lower the arms down, send them out in front of you, coming to all fours. Inhale, we drop the belly open through the chest, look up, cat cow. Exhale, curling under. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine, lift the right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we lower it back down. Inhale, lift the left hand up, reaching up, and exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck the toes under, and exhale, lifting knees and hips, downward dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees back down. Inhale, sitting back on your heels, arms coming up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again like this, inhale. Exhale, all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine, right hand comes up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sit back, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And again, inhale. Exhale, all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, neutral spine, right hand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale, sit back, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Keep going, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Take a moment here. Come back to your breath, checking in with how your body is dealing with this movement, whether it feels nice, whether it feels a little tense. Just checking in. go through two more times. Take a big breath in and breath out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Inhale, neutral right hand. Reach up. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, sit back, arms up. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale. And exhale. Relax. Nice. From here, we're going to come up onto your knees. Step your right foot forward. And we're going to start to sink the hips down, pressing forwards with that right knee. So we're trying to get the right knee directly above the ankle or just slightly behind it, but ideally not too far over the foot. Pressing down through the hips and lifting up out of the waist. So squeezing belly button in to help lift you up here. You can... Play with the position of that back leg if it feels more comfortable to tuck the toe. If you want to put a cushion underneath it, if you are turning it in or turning it out, just play with that position so that it feels comfortable for you. You might like to bring hands to your hips or maybe sending arms up, coming to a low lunge. One more inhale. Exhale, bring hands down either side of your foot. Inhale, we're going to lift the right hand up towards the ceiling, coming to a twist. Squeeze that right knee in towards your chest and let it fall out to the side. Squeezing it in, reaching up with the right hand. And we lower it back down. Inhale, lift the left hand up, reaching upwards, opening your chest up towards the ceiling. And then bring it back down. Bring both hands to the inside of the right knee. You can walk the right foot a little bit further forward if you like, optional. And then we're starting to fold down towards the mat. So you might bend your elbows a little bit, maybe coming onto your elbows as far down as you as feels comfortable. If it's a bit much, you might want to put a couple blocks underneath your elbows here so you can lower down a little. Keeping that knee in towards your shoulder. And then coming back up onto your hands. And we're going to turn onto the outside edge of that front foot. Send your knee out to the side. Holding here. Breathe. And we'll come back onto the sole of the foot. Start to step that foot back a little. And then make your way to kneeling, we'll switch legs. So left foot in front now, bending up that knee, starting to find that low lunge position, checking whether the knee is above the ankle or a bit behind, not too much over the front. Check in with the position of the back knee, you might want it flexed, relaxed, turned in, turned out, whatever works. Sinking down through the hips, Lifting up out of the waist, belly button is drawing in, and you can bring your hands to your hips, or maybe bring your arms up above your head, holding here. One more inhale, and exhale, bringing hands down. Nice. From here, inhale, left hand comes up, pressing down into that right hand, squeezing left knee in towards your chest, holding here. Deep breaths. And on your next exhale, bring the hand out. Inhale, lifting the right hand up, opening chest up towards the ceiling. And 
and on your next exhale, lower it down. Bring both hands to the inside of your left knee. You can walk the left foot forward a little bit if you like. And then from here, either bending the elbows a little, maybe coming down onto your forearms, maybe putting blocks underneath and coming onto those, whatever works for you. Holding this position, keep that knee squeezing in towards your shoulder. And then starting to come back up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, rolling onto the outside edge of your left foot, send the knee out to the left side. Try not to let your body come out to the right. Keep it in line. Holding here. And then bring weight back down onto that front foot. Bring the hand back around to the other side. Help to squeeze that foot back in. It's never quite graceful. Ugh. And coming up. There we go. All right, from here we're going to sit down in the middle of your mat. Send your legs out in front. And then we're opening them out to the side. Doesn't have to be really wide, just whatever works for you today. So flexing your feet, so toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, sit up tall. And as you exhale, starting to walk your fingertips forwards, coming onto hands, maybe elbows. Not super active, so not really pushing, but allowing yourself to have a little stretch while also relaxing. Try and stay active through your legs and feet, but relaxing through your spine. And then walking your hands over to your right knee, folding down. Keep pressing down through the left hip. Come back to your breath while you're here. And then walking both hands across to the left knee, folding down, pressing down through the right hip. And then coming back to centre. And coming up. Nice work. All right. We're going to come to a couple of yin postures now. Bring the feet together. Give them a little shake. So with the yin postures, we're going to try and hold them for two minutes today. And we're going to alternate between doing an active pose and a rest posture. So see how you go. Um, yin can be challenging because it's a time when you need to try and really relax your mind. As always, if you start to notice any pain or bad discomfort in your body, then feel free to do whatever works for you. All right, we're going to start off with a forward fold. So, yin forward fold is a little bit different to how we would normally do it. So instead of sitting up tall, straight legs, flexed feet, we're going to relax a little bit. You can bend up your knees and we're going to thread the arms underneath. So you're going to hold this for two minutes, so you need to be reasonably comfortable. If that means grabbing a cushion, another mat, some blocks to put underneath your knees so that you can relax here, go for it, do that. So just finding a position where you feel reasonably comfortable, where you feel like you'll be able to hold this for two minutes. Noting that you can go further into the pose if you need, but we don't really want you to come out of it unless you're in pain. So, just making sure you found that position. Setting up the timer. 
and off we go. So the longer you hold each posture, the more you feel your body start to relax into the position. And you can definitely help it along the way, thinking about working through from your toes all the way up to your head, relaxing each muscle, noticing how it's feeling within the position. Remembering to breathe deeply. Maybe closing your eyes. And start to come up, slowly lowering yourself straight down into your Shavasana, letting arms come down by your sides, feet to slay outwards, taking two minutes in this posture to rest, noticing how your body feels after that pose, any points of tension, Point of relaxation, scanning through your body, seeing what's happening. And starting to starting to come to the next posture, we'll do a half bridge pose. So bending up the feet, fingertips are just touching the backs of your heels. We're going to plant those feet down into the mat. Bring arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Take an inhale, press the lower back down, and as you exhale, we start to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. We're going to try and walk your short blades in a little closer together, maybe interlacing the fingers underneath each other and squeezing them together. We're going to try and hold this pose for two minutes. This is a little more tricky. We're getting ready. Let's go. 
Pressing through the whole foot. Closing down the eyes. Squeezing your glutes. Working through your body and your mind. Picturing each muscle, working out what it's doing. Maybe it's tensing to hold you here. Maybe it's lengthening. And then breathing deep. This will be a challenge physically as well as mentally. So breathing deep will help you cope with that challenge. Try not to think about how much time has passed or how much is left to go. Just think about right now, how you're feeling in this moment. Finding ways that you could stay here forever if you needed to. Breathing deep. And then we'll start to come up. Hopefully it wasn't as long as you were thinking. <laughs> Hopefully you're right. For our rest posture, we're going to come into a child's pose balasana. So coming up, making your way slowly and mindfully to that child's pose position. You have a few different options. You can come to a wide leg child's pose with arms out over your head. You can bring these a little closer together. Bring arms down by your sides. Just find a position that works for you. Welcome to bring blocks and blankets in to help you find that comfortable position. And we're holding here for two minutes. Let's go. Starting to come out. You're going to make your way back down into your back. Coming to a figure four stretch. 
So to start off with, we're going to bring your left ankle just above the right knee. Red, left hand in between both legs. Right hand comes around the outside and the interlace behind that right knee. And we're going to lie back. I'm thinking of drawing that, or relaxing here as much as you can while drawing that knee in towards your chest. We're going to hold it here for two minutes. And then we will have our resting posture. Here we go. Breathing here. As with all yin postures, you want to find a position that is applying a little bit of pressure, stretching a tiny bit, but not too much that it becomes too intense. I'm hoping that by applying a little bit of pressure for a longer amount of time, you can achieve some different benefits. Trying not to force anything, even if you're just feeling a tiny little stretch, that's fine. Now we're going to move your right knee a tiny bit further towards the right side. You should feel the stretch start to deepen just a touch. And then holding here. Again, coming back to your breath. It's kind of okay if you drift off with your thoughts. It can be a, start, a sign that you're starting to relax. But ideally, you want to try and stay present within your body, mind. And the breath can be a great anchor to your present. Alright, we'll release. Hugging the knees in towards your chest. I'm going to give yourself a big hug and this is our resting posture for two minutes. Squeezing knees in, holding here. Thinking of pressing your lower back down towards the mat. Lengthening your whole spine in this pose. back to the breath. You might be getting to the point now where your mind starts to get bored or get agitated. It's okay. It's normal. Try and acknowledge what your brain is telling you, what your mind is saying. And you can reply back to it, not too much longer. Just let yourself be in this present moment. Telling your mind to be with it in a moment. We're going to come to the other side. So bringing the right ankle just above the left knee, thread the right hand in between both legs and the left hand comes around the interlace behind that left knee, drawing the left knee in towards your chest. 
Again, holding here for two minutes. This will be the last one before we start heading towards your Shavasana. So again, finding that position that feels like it's giving you a little stretch, but it's still comfortable to be able to hold it for a reasonable amount of time. Scanning through and thinking about which muscles are tensed here and whether they need to be tensed. Some muscles will be, like maybe your lats, your shoulders and arms holding that like there. And they need to be. But some muscles, like maybe the hamstrings of your left leg. They might be tense when they can really be relaxed. If you did it on the other side for me, you will just slightly move the left knee a little bit further towards the left side, getting a slightly stronger stretch and then holding here. And if you get to a point where it's not stretching anymore, you can pull that knee in closer. Okay, so that's coming. Rolling over onto your tummy for our last uh, resting posture. We're going to, you can either just bring your arms on top of each other and let your head relax down onto your forearms, or you can bring your elbows down underneath your shoulders. Let your chest come down in between them and then let your head hang down. So different versions of crocodile pose, holding for two minutes here. Make sure you're comfortable enough to hold it. Either way, let your head and neck relax whichever position you're in. Breathing deeply. To come up. Rolling back over onto your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest for a moment. Give yourself a gentle rock from side to side. 
And then from here, we're going to bring our arms out to a T. Take an inhale, send your knees out so they're directly above hips. And as you exhale, lowering both knees straight down towards the right side. Relax them all the way down. We're looking over your left shoulder and holding here. And your next inhale, starting to bring head and knees back up through centre. And as you exhale, sending them straight across to the other side. Closing your eyes and holding here. And your next inhale, starting to bring your head and knees up through centre again. And as you exhale, sending your legs out along the mat, bringing your arms down by your sides. Let's come to your full Shavasana, your relaxation. Allowing the feet to splay outwards. Letting arms rest by your sides with palms facing up towards the ceiling. And letting your head relax directly in the centre of your shoulders with eyes closed. Letting go of any control of your breath. Letting go of any control of your muscles. Starting to relax. As you lie here, I want you to imagine your favorite body of water. It might be beach that you love, a pond, a river, a dam, just picturing that body of water, it's calm, peaceful and still. Picture yourself walking towards that body of water. Slowly and mindfully come up to the water's edge. And then you keep going, walking into the shallows. A little bit further, till you're about waist deep. And then you lie back and begin to float. Floating effortlessly, staying completely still. You can feel the warm sun hitting your face, the top of your body. Feel the cool water surrounding the back of your body. I 
as you're floating here. Start to think of any tension that you're holding in your body. Letting that tension start to melt out of your body into the water. Floating away in little ripples. Start small, close to your body. And slowly ripple out. Further and further away. Getting smaller and smaller. Until they disappear. And finding any anger, frustration, noticing if you're feeling that within your body or your mind. And letting that anger and frustration start to ripple away. Going further and further. Getting smaller and smaller. Until it disappears. Finally. Finding any stress or anxiety. Noticing if you feel that within your body, or within your mind. Finding it. And feeling it melt out into the water. Starting to send it out into ripples. It moves further and further away, getting smaller and smaller until it disappears. And you're left here floating in the water, completely relaxed, completely calm, and completely content. When you're ready, start to stand up in your mind, in that body of water. Start to walk back towards the shore, out of the water, leaving everything you left in it behind. Let's start to breathe a little deeper. Bringing your awareness back to the space that you're in. And start to find a bit of movement through your fingers, toes, wrists and ankles. Maybe stretching your arms up over heads. Maybe hugging your knees in. Just find something that feels right for you. And then whenever you're ready, in your own time and in whichever way you like, starting to make your way up to sitting. Keeping eyes closed if you can or just slightly open. Take a moment to notice how you're feeling right now. In your body. In your mind and in your spirit. The 
bring your hands to heart center. Take a moment to really truly thank yourself for taking this time to relax today. I wish for you kind thoughts, kind words, and a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you everyone. I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed now. Um, as always, any questions, comments or criticism is always welcome. So feel free to comment or message me about anything. Otherwise, thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you next time.